I want to show you how you can add a confirmation layer to your registration on your site. So right now we don't have any type of confirmation while you create your uh, user account. So just anyone with a fake user email uh, and all the fake user information can register and access whatever we have on our site. So if like right now, if I just go ahead and register, you see that I'm logged in straight away. Uh, but if you want to add some kind of uh, security or whatever, that the user has to first um, confirm their email, uh, that they actually have a real email, then we can add something to our uh, program here. And first I'm just going to add a folder, call it services. And I'm going to add a new class called email sender. And we're going to do this using Gmail uh, in the most simple way possible right now. Uh, so I'm going to show you that and walk you through that. Uh, but first of all, we have to inherit here from I email sender. And then we want to make sure that we implement the interface and then we get this method here, which is a public async task. And we pass in here an email of string, a subject of string, and also a HTML message. So in here, we can just start off by creating our from email. And our from password. And this will be your actual email and password. Uh, so I'll just fill this in later. Uh, and then we want to create a mail message. And can name it message equals to new like that. And we can start off by adding the from, and that will be a new mail address with the from email. And we can add the to, just to dot add new mail address with the email that we are passing in here. Add a subject and add a body. And we want to also specify the body type. Message is body HTML equals to true. OK, so that's done. Now we want to create a SMTP client. So var SMTP client equals to new SMTP client. And in here we want to put smtp.gmail.com. And we want to also pass in some settings here. The port will be 587. The Credentials will be a new network credential. And we pass in our from email and from password. And lastly, we want to enable SSL. Set it to true. Just close this one off. Uh, whoops like that. And here we just want to put smtp.client.send and we want to send the message. Uh, one of those here. All right. So that's actually all we want to do in our email sender class. We can just save this one and then go to our startup file. And here we need to add a option 
and just enable sign in dot require confirmed account and set it to true. And this will mean that we can't access our account until we've confirmed it by uh, confirming our email. So we can just do like that. And then we also need to add down here services dot add transient and we add the i email sender and the email sender and before we continue on here i just want to show you the settings you need to do in your gmail account so just come here and go to manage google account you want to go to this padlock security and if you scroll down a bit, you will come to this um, access for less secure apps or something, I think it says in English. And you must just want to make sure that this one is on. And this will work for at least a month or two uh, more. Uh, there's also a way you can do this by using an app password, which you can generate if you have a um, two-factor authorization added to your Google account. But this is the most easy way as of right now. So back in our project here, we want to come to the areas folder, identity, and go to uh, account. And down here in the register confirmation, um, you can see that you actually get the link right here if the display confirm account link is true. So we just want to go ahead and change that to false. So if you go to the uh, cshtml.cs file for the register confirmation, you can scroll down a bit and right here you can see display confirm account link and just want to set this to false. So we can save that. And then under the register.cs.html.cs, cshtml.cs, uh, you can also scroll down here a bit and you will see right here with this send email async here you can specify the message that the email will tell to the um, recipient so here you can just write whatever you want so we can write please confirm your account uh, I wrote this just to see that it works and save that and you can also come to this confirm email here so this is what the user will see when they click the link and come to the confirm email so maybe we just don't want this to be totally blank so we can add maybe a h5 and something like that so now I'm just going to go ahead and add my mail and password to my email sender. And then we're going to go ahead and try this if this works. And just a note, in your password, for example, or in your email as well, if you have any like quotation marks or slashes or something like that, backslashes, then you have to add a at symbol uh, at the beginning of your string so that it doesn't think that you're trying to use these uh, escape commands. So I went ahead and saved everything up and now I'm actually going to have to use a real email to be able to register here. So I can use my own email or I can just go to and search for a temp email. Just take this one for now. And I'm going to go to register. And now if I click register, you will see that register confirmation please check your email to confirm your account. And if I go to this temp email site here, you can see that I just received an email. If I go in here, please confirm your account. And I wrote this just to see that it works. So you can see that it actually works. And by clicking here, I can confirm it. And then I come here and you see the text that I added. And now I'm able to log in.
like that. And we have ourselves a confirmation uh, security layer to our register feature. Just a quick note on the accounts that you have added before making this feature available uh, is that they will not have the uh, email confirmed set to true. So when you activate this, you will not be able to log in using those. So what you can do then is come to your SQL uh, server object explorer here and you can just put in true instead and true here as well. And that will work the same as if you have confirmed your email. So I hope this was to some help for you and I'll see you in the next one.